everyone welcome to my youtube channel we are discussing about gym management system in last lecture i have shown you how to design this uh, delete member uh, form and I, and i have also shown you how to code for this exit button and how this pop up is coming okay so today i'm going to show you how to design actually this login page in the in the first video i have told you that i'm going to design this login page in the and very last so this is the last lecture for this project and i'm going to show you how to design this actually okay so let's start with this okay so here we go so first what we need is i need one form so just right click on this and click on add and after that click on windows form so here we go so i am just naming it login and i am adding this form and what i want is i just want to remove these controls so maximize and minimize okay so i have to do that so just click on this and search for maximize and minimize bar and sorry maximize box and just make it false in the same way search minimize box and just make it false so you can see this now these controls are removed and let me just make it large and first thing i want to do is i want to add an image okay so let me add image so just right click on this form and just search for image background image actually okay so here we found it and just click on this and just select local resources and import it's loading actually i have used this image you can use any image you can download it from internet and just hit okay and it's in the tile format so i'm just stretching it so just background image layout and stretch uh, you can see this now first thing we need is uh, one panel so let me just drag and drop a panel to give a nice look okay and just make it large enough okay and first thing i want to actually copy the logo so I have made in this. So here it is login form. Let me just copy these stuff. Let me just copy and let me just paste it here. So I have copied this stuff and these are logo. So it's not a big deal, okay, at all. So this is how actually I have designed. And after that, I need few text boxes and labels. So I need text box. Just drag and drop it and just copy and paste it to replicate it and after that I need labels so label just drag and drop it copy and paste it to replicate and after that I need one button so just type button just drag and drop it so let me change this name to the username okay so I'm not changing its design name I'm changing its text to user name and hit enter in the same way you can change for this password just go to properties and there you can change let me just increase the font size if it's not visible clearly okay so i'm just making it okay nine okay. so for this also i'm just you have to go to font and there you can just select nine and hit okay and now it's time to make this text box large okay so i'm making this much large and here you can see this now I'm also increasing the font of this uh, text box so while you increase the font the size of this text box will also increase so let me just 9 or 10 you can take this 10 here you can see that this become now broader in the same way do for the next one so let me just select 10 and for the password field what you need is when you write something it needs to be in the start format so for that you just need to click on this and search for password care here you can see this and you have to set to star now when you uh, enter here star now the every character entered into this will be in the star format now i want that this text box needs to be in black color matching from the background or you just uh, you can give any color so just click on this and 
just go to background color here you can see this back color just select and search for the proper color which is going to suit on this so this will suit now and I just need some uh, nice colors okay so I'm just setting it green so it will be nice from from my point of view maybe you like different colors so you can select a different one okay so I've just set this green and change this button name to login okay and hit enter and you can actually make it large so that's not an issue you can make a button large I'm just making it a bit larger and you can actually change the color of it too so change the back color to like I'm just adding it to let me just add some black color or let me just add more dark colors okay so now here we go so uh, and here I have sh shown you that this needs to be in this format so what I have added uh, so that it's become a box so I have actually used the rectangular shaper so just go to toolbox and here you can search for rectangular shaper just drag and drop it here okay in this way you can make it so let me just show you how to make this just make it large and here you can see this okay and just copy this and paste it again and make one small one okay so you can see this how I'm making this and here we go so it's actually a bit more space and now moving it downward now here you can see this now it's looking fine so uh, when you start it you will see that form 1 is being loaded okay so how to change this to login form how to actually change the default uh, form okay which loads so how to do that you just go to your project solution explorer and in this you go to this program.c just double click on this and you will see a form uh, like this okay so here you just need to change this form one name to login and just save it and now when I execute it you will see login form will be loaded okay here you can see this and now everything is in care okay so we have some issue with this okay so first thing I need is when it's load it's and on the full screen this login form okay so how to do that windows state here you can see this it needs to be maximized and just save it and start it now we will see this this is now maximized but it's this uh, view is not in the center so how to bring this into the center just click on this panel and just go to location actually okay so here you can see this now location just set step by step like uh, 400 and just X and here you can see this now it's moved right and in the Y you can set 100 and just start it and you will see it's looking uh, a bit left but it's moved a bit right okay so let me just change it to a fixed size 500 and let me just change to 150 now start it now you can see this it's on the actually almost on the proper place okay so now you can write in thing and it will actually work very nice so now it's on the right place now what I need is when I click on this login the username and password needs to be verified and after that we move to the form one that is dashboard here you can see this this is the dashboard so how to do that just click a login button click event just let me change this button name so ptn log n and just double click on this we generate a login button click event and this I want that if okay so I have not changed the text box name so let me first change the text box name so just click on the first one so it's let me change to txt box user 
main and after that to second txt box password and hit enter just double click on this to click it to generate a click event and after that i need txt box username dot text is equals is equals equals admin that i have set and okay, so it's a uh, just place and, and after that txt box password dot text is equals equals admin okay so it's actually hard coded you can also do this with the database if you need this just comment and i will definitely make video that's not a big deal so i'm just making this video short so i'm just showing you how to actually code on this so where we want to move is on form one. So we will create a form one object. So new form one. If you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, then just subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. So you just need to write this fm dot show, and after that you just need to first when this form pop up, what I need to do is I need to hide this login form. So for this, you need to just type this dot hide. Okay, so it will open a new form and it will hide this uh, login form. So let's start and see this. It's working or not. So I have set admin and admin. Just click on this login and here you can see this. Now we are on this and this logout will not work right now. So I have not coded for the logout. Just start it and here let me just enter something wrong. When I click on this, it will not show any message. So let me just go write code for that too. So for that, you just need to write in the else condition. If that user don't, doesn't satisfy the condition, then I want to show a message box dot show. And in this, I'm going to show this in and correct user id or password and i'm giving this a uh, message box name error and this message box uh, needs some button so i'm just giving these buttons to okay i'm just providing one button okay and in this i'm going to show some icon so message box icon dot I'm just going to show which type of icon I want. Either you can just put the cross that is error icon or you can put the warning. Okay, so I'm just putting warning. Okay, and just save it and start this. And now you will see the difference. So I'm just entering wrong. And here you can see this is incorrect, invalid, uh, incorrect user ID or password. In the same way, let me just write in the place of warning. It can be error. Okay, just save it and execute it. Here you can see this, this cross. Okay, so this cross is now nice. Okay, you can use any of this. Now, let me just log in. Okay. Here you can see this. Now, we are not logging out. So, I want to just log out. When I click on this log out, it adds ask that do you seriously want to log out and when the user click yes then it's just place the user at this login form okay so how to do that let me just show you how to do that okay so let me just go to form one first and form one just double click on this to generate a click event and in this you have to just write few lines okay so first thing you have to create a message box in this if else condition if condition message box okay message box dot show I want to show a pop up okay so you can see this show and in this I want that to show a message log out okay 
and after that ask for confirm and I want to give a name to this message box that is just keep it log out that's not an issue and I want to give a button give buttons to this message box dot buttons dot I want two buttons ok or cancel ok or cancel ok so if user press on ok ok yeah actually I can use ok or cancel ok so either you can use yes or no let me just use this ok or cancel ok so after that I want this icon as I have shown you before message box dot icon and I am giving a warning here right now so let me just type warning okay and after that we check that in this if dialog result if the user click on from these two buttons if user click on ok then what we need to do here you can write the code for that okay in this if condition so if user click on ok so first thing I want to do this this dot close okay so dashboard needs to be closed and after that I want to open a login form okay so for that you just need to create a login form object so login form form object lg equals new login and after that you just need to type lg dot show just save it and start it and just type admin and admin just login here you can see this it's asking for login confirm ok or cancel I'm just canceling it's nothing doing nothing if you click on ok it will just move you to this login page here you can see this and now you can again login with this user id and password and that's it so I have shown you how to design this new stuff as well as I have shown you how to design equipments, view equipment, everything I have shown you how to design this search member, how to design this lead. Today I have shown you how to design this logout, how to design this exit button. So I have done for this project and if you have any query regarding this project, you can ask and you can contact us anytime. Just comment in the comment section. And if you are like like my video, just hit the bell icon as well as subscribe my channel. And if you need the source code, just comment your email ID in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Okay.